On May 14th, 2012, Katie John died. One year and one day later at Grand Strand Regional Medical Center, you look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Katie met the doctors, nurses, and paramedics who gave her a new life. It's been a really amazing year of, uh, of life. I just think every day is a gift. Katie had an undetected condition known as QT syndrome, an electrical heart disorder. One day, her husband found her on the floor not breathing. He started CPR and called 911. Paramedics shocked her with a defibrillator, and when she got to the emergency room, Dr. Scott Karate decided she needed therapeutic hypothermia. That's when the patient is put under cooling blankets to lower the core body temperature and preserve brain function. It worked for Katie, really worked. She woke up a little over a day later, and other than some minor setbacks in the beginning, uh, is back to her normal self. Doctors and EMTs rarely get a chance to meet those whose lives they save. It feels pretty good when they do. It's not doing the job for the thanks. It's just doing our job, basically. It did work in this instance, and it's great to see her and her family doing so well. Today, this 34-year-old mother of two, who was clinically dead for close to eight minutes, is very much alive and adopting a third child, a teenager from Eastern Europe. She has a new pacemaker to help ensure this doesn't happen again. And she struggles to find the right words to say. There's really no way to adequately thank them, but um, this, I'm doing my best. <laughs> One way was to bake cookies, heart-shaped, of course. In Myrtle Beach, Joel Allen, WPDE, News Channel 15.